the iPhone 12 Pro Max review and my thoughts coming up next. Hey guys, this is Darren with Everyman Tech, your one-stop shop for high quality tech reviews. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about the 12 Pro Max. Now, for some out there, or maybe everybody, everybody should be pretty much familiar with this phone. And a lot of the negativity been going out about it, about how big the phone is and how the chipset doesn't work well with the big screen and just a lot of craziness. And we're going to talk more about that today. But just to get a little bit more understanding about the phone, we're going to dive into some of the tech specs. We're going to talk about some of the features, how the phone looks aesthetically, and you know, it definitely give you my overall opinion about what how I feel about this phone as being a user and a fan of Apple products and phones in particular. But we're going to get a little, a little bit more about that. So if you guys are definitely your first time listening to this channel, definitely hope you enjoy it. Definitely subscribe, comment, and definitely hit the like icon. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Now, just for the first general use of the phone or just from the first observation of the phone when you take it out of the box, you will notice that the phone features a stainless steel bezel around it. And that stainless steel bezel is in comparison to the previous iPhone 4 version, which had that same exact thickness and it had the same stainless steel bezel around the phone versus the aluminum um, rounded off skinny edge um, that was the, on a previous 10 and 11 and so on and so forth. So first thing you notice is that stainless steel bezel and you also notice too is that instead of having just a gener generic chrome colored stainless steel bezel, the stainless steel bezel will actually match the color of the phone. So in my case, I have the Pacific Blue, which has um, that nice blue color to it, that navy blue color, but the stainless steel bezel is like not dark, but like a lighter blue, but it complements the phone well as far as the color scheme. And also too, in terms of the color scheme, you will notice too that the body of the phone itself is a matte finish. So if this phone is not gonna have that shiny, you know, um, look to it like other phones and different manufacturers that make their phones that they kept, really actually kept this phone kind of matte finish. And for somebody who really appreciates a minimalist design like myself, I honestly think that that was the best way to go because that stainless steel bezel, even though it's so small in comparison to the size of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, that it actually complements the matte finish well and gives it that nice little shiny touch without going over the board and over the top with it. So you will notice that on the first initial look of the phone when you grab it out the box. And just so you know, just some of the color options out there, and since we're talking about in terms of color, now, unlike the other iPhone models that came out previously that had multiple color options, and in the iPhone 12 Pro Max um, lineup, you only have an option of four colors. Now, those four colors are gonna be the Pacific Blue, you, which is like that navy blue. You'll have your graphite, which is somewhat similar to the space gray that everybody's known, that, um, that Apple is known for as far as all the other products. But you also have the silver, and you also have the gold. And so only four colors, but you there's a many, many options for as far as cases that you can get with the phone. And we'll, I'll touch on that a little bit later in this video, but yeah. So you, those colors again, just for your um, knowledge and just for your understanding are Pacific Blue, Graphite, Silver, and of course, Gold. Now for the main features, um, I can really go in depth on what all the features this phone has, but I'm sure you guys can go read that on Apple's website or a lot of other videos. So, and just in terms of just talking about the 12 Pro Max itself, I'm gonna give you just the basic, and my main features that you should definitely take note of if you're interested or if you already have this phone that you already purchased. Now, for the first thing you will notice too on the back is also, you know, which is what iPhones or any other smartphone users mostly using their phones for nowadays, especially in terms of social media as the camera. So on this phone, you will actually notice you have your ultra wide, your wide and your telephoto lens. Now, three, yeah, you got three different lenses and they all work well together in order to give you the best pictures possible. And these is definitely um, featured and definitely used heavily in terms of 
the night mode and portrait mode that um, is introduced in the 12 Pro Max um, iPhone. And also too, in addition to those three lenses that we can talk about the next feature that this phone has that no other iPhone has had, that has had, I'm sorry, that has been introduced in the previous lineup is the new Apple Pro Raw software. Now, for some people out there, you may not know or might not know, but just in brief, the Apple Pro Raw software pretty much takes your photos that you take with the phone and turns them into raw format. So for my guys out there who are photographers or anybody who really trying to get into photography, in simplest terms, the raw format of your photos pretty much allows you to do all color saturations, lighting, background, pretty much lets you take the picture to the next level and make you, it lets you edit and do as you please so you can get the perfect shot with the perfect lighting, the perfect um, structure, and all that good stuff as far as in terms of photography. So you have that Apple Pro Raw. Now you have this setting on the phone that you have to actually set in order to do that. And that's about it. But so that say when you're taking those pictures that it'll give you, it'll put it in the raw format. So when you're going to your favorite editing software, you can actually take those photos and actually be able to customize them and get the coloration and the light level, noise level, and all that good stuff as far as what, you, you know, in terms of photography, and you basically get that perfect shot and to get the look that you're actually looking for. And in addition to your Apple Pro Raw and the three lens system, you also have the, of course, MagSafe wireless charging. Now, wireless charging is not nothing new, I know, I know, but with the MagSafe charging, it is something new. And it's not like the same, it works the same way as the MagSafe chargers that work with the older MacBooks that, you know, the ones you had to plug them to the side and they had the three little lights on it, all that good stuff. And, you know, just in case you tripped it or you kicked it or something like that, it wouldn't pull down your thousand something dollar MacBook down with you. Yeah, it kind of worked the same way. Now with the MagSafe charger for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, along with the other iPhone 12 lineup phones, you can actually take the charger and it's a ring actually built into the structure of the phone. So when you place the phone down on the MagSafe wireless charger, it'll actually detect it right away. And you know, unlike the other models of phones of different manufacturers with wireless charging, you know, it was, it was mainly you just put it down and you just hopefully put it in the right place and then you hope it charges. Now, most of the time you will have no problem charging it but sometimes you might run into a situation where you might put it not enough on the phone or just slide a little bit too far away from the actual charging base itself and you will think your phone's being charged when actually it's just laying it down and it's not doing anything. But with the MagSafe charger, you can actually be rest assured and be in confidence that when you set your phone down on it, the magnetic ring around the MagSafe charger itself will actually attach to the phone and you will get that notification of the actual ring going around the display of your phone. And that you know that, hey, you're charging, you're good to go. And I'll also briefly show you uh, their battery level at the same time. Now, if you was worried about the 12 Pro Max not being able to charge your phone really fast, like other phones out in the market, well, you're wrong, because this phone actually does have fast charging. Now, in terms of fast charging, if you're using a 20 watt charger, um, which is the normal nominal brick that you can buy separately because you know the phones don't come with bricks anymore um, You can actually buy the brick separately, which is 20 watts and with that 20 watt brick You can actually charge your phone up to 50% on an empty battery in 30 minutes Now I know you're saying 30 minutes is not as fast as like 15 minutes or 10 or 5 at, But just note that this phone does hold a two hour battery charge and that's what heavy app use and content watching as far as video etc and etc so you actually just that just the fact that you can hold that two hours of battery life in the phone while in regular use you know and you really have a lot of juice to pretty much go throughout the day because not everybody's on the phone for two hours straight unless you're watching a movie and even if you're watching a movie that you'll still be able to have enough juice to get you through the day until you get to your charger but just quick note again that fast charging is available with the iphone 12 pro max and with that with the 20 watt battery charger uh, which is the brick that you can buy separately via apple that you will be able to charge your phone for 
up to 50% battery life, get 50% of your battery life back and within 30 minutes. Now, my main feature that I love about this phone and one of my main reasons why I bought the phone in the first place is the fact that not only is this screen big with the 6.7 inch screen, but this is actually an OLED backlit display where it has OLED resolution. So if you can picture a mini OLED big screen TV, that's pretty much what you got with this iPhone 12 Pro Max. And the main reason I love this phone too, as far as that big screen display is that it makes watching videos, um, just watching photos and just pretty much looking at different websites and everything like that, especially reading emails, a, a breeze, because now that with the screen is bigger that I can actually expand more emails viewing versus my other previous phones that I had. And on top of that, that you can actually be able to really get that real cinematic experience of watching movies and YouTube videos and all other crazy stuff I like to watch on my phone, um, streaming television shows, et cetera, et cetera, that you, you can actually get that same experience just looking at it like you look at your TV now. The quality was good on just the other phones as well, but my personal opinion that if you're gonna get a phone of this size that you should be able to definitely engulf yourself in a lot of video content and stuff like that because if you're not doing that you're pretty much wasting your money and getting a phone of this size and also in addition to that to add on to that for people who are maybe has have a hard time reading smaller letters with that 6.7 inch screen size reading letters and looking and reading and deciphering letters and everything like that small or big is a breeze now all right so now we're going to talk about the tech specs of the phone aka why you should definitely buy this phone if you were still undecided or if you just don't know which iphone 12 pro lineup phone to go with now this phone as far as just coming off with that display features a super retina xdr display and in terms of the 12 pro max the 6.7 inch screen it also includes haptic touch for um, a good touch screen feel and uh, definitely app response and you definitely of course get that a14 bionic chip which is the fastest and best chipset on the market to date even amongst the samsung models so if you're looking for something really fast and you really want a really responding fast charging not charging excuse me but just an overall phone user experience the a14 bionic chip definitely powers this phone and unlike and Definitely, some people say fight against that. Say, well, the screen um, and the skies doesn't really work with the chipset. It is not as fast as the other phone. And yes, it's the bigger screen, and the chipset has to work a little harder to make sure everything's run. But rest assured that I've been using this phone for quite a couple of months, and I can honestly tell you that I don't experience any of those problems. Um, this doesn't have like the multitask or anything like that, um, like versus like a Samsung Galaxy phone or any other Android phone, but. I can tell you that app response and just being able to use the phone, look apps up, use apps in stores and emails, et cetera, et cetera, have been a breeze and they've been really, really fast, faster than any other iPhones that I have used. Um, and that's from coming from the plus sizes and just the regular size. And I haven't used the mini, uh, which I will be looking at the mini soon and giving a review on that. But just in terms of right now, um and using the other iphone plus size phones because it's not i know this is the max but we people keep for gotta remember that we did have the iphone 7 plus 8 plus so on and so forth you know that it still um, worked just as well even though with this bigger screen size that the chipset a14 bionic chip runs this phone smoothly and it also you again touching up that 4k recording you can actually record in 24 25 30 or 60 frames per second so if you're trying to get a faster flow or a little bit of slower some more cinematic you definitely have a range of options to choose from and just a quick note that um within this 4k recorder using this a14 by on the chipset that you can actually achieve 87 percent better videos in low light conditions with the 12 pro max and without without sacrificing any color quality quality so a, if you're looking using this phone for recording videos or actually really doing some heavy photo editing video editing stuff etc etc or blogging or vlogging whatever you're trying to do that this phone is more than well equipped to handle whatever you need to throw at it and 
as was any other iPhone that you would normally buy. You also get your face ID, um, security, which pretty much unlocks the phone using your facial expression or your face in general. And you also have your Apple wallet. So that way, if you definitely with quarantine and COVID and just social distancing and all the safety measures and someone who's maybe a germaphobe or somebody who's just pretty much want to stay away and keep as clean as possible, you can actually use your phone to swipe um, to pretty much use your cards and or boarding passes or whatever what have you and you can actually use your phone to scan or to just pay for your purchases without actually using the physical card touching the machine touching the buttons sign with the pen you know the drill you won't have to do that with the phone that you actually use, use your phone and actually do all that for you and that also reduce that hand-to-hand -hand or that person-to-person -person contact thing keeping you safe and on your way and also too, um, in addition to the night mode, now it's another feature called portrait mode. Now this portrait mode is exactly what it sounds like, but with the portrait mode with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the Pro lineup, you will actually be able to blur out the background versus um, you know having just the people in the background. So if you just want to really keep your subject or your person in focus, and you want them to be the highlight of the photo or, the, or you know just the star, and you want to blur out everything in the background, which everybody now is trying to get that blurry background. Now, unlike with the DSLR camera, where you have to have the right lenses and you have to do a lot of adjusting and all that good stuff. And you just like, no, I just want to take a really good photo and just have the blurry background. And I'm not trying to do all the DSLR, invest in all that different lenses and pay all this money for a good DSLR camera. Well, you're in luck if you purchase the iPhone 12 Pro Max because it does it for you. And with that portrait mode that you'll actually be able to control the, how much blurs in the background and how much light you let in, et cetera, et cetera. So that will actually give you that perfect professional looking portrait photo of yourself or the subject with that blurry background. And this is all done exactly on your phone. So you can edit you do what you need to do, get your blurriness, get the lighting contrast, especially with the Apple Pro Raw. Throw that in there. You pretty much have a mini DSLR camera on your smartphone and you can send Instagram, Twitter posts, or wherever you like to post pictures and stuff on your social media and and it will look professional without actually you being a professional or you paying for a professional to take the photo for you. Whew, okay. So, the main question, do I recommend or not recommend this phone? So, just to give you guys my honest opinion about the phone, from using this phone on a regular basis, and from using other phones on the iPhone lineup, I can definitely tell you that I highly recommend this phone, even despite this phone having a 6.7 inch screen size that everybody just seem to be complaining about these days, which I don't understand why. Especially if you've been using a uh, 6S Plus or the 7 Plus, you know, et cetera, et cetera, where they made a slightly bigger phone than their regular four inch um, screen size phone, you know, they, they already did it. This is nothing new. So, yes, I recommend this phone because the screen size, is, to me, should not be a deal breaker. The fact that you will appreciate doing so much different tasks with the phone, uh, app usage, looking at video content, playing video games, which you, you should want to play it on a bigger screen anyway. It's going to look just that much better. I'm not saying that the other phones don't look better, which they are. They look awesome and in the same quality, but just a bigger screen, you know, you just get really that close to your TV as possible or a tablet without you have to have to carry a tablet around along with your phone to look at content. And also too, just for the nighttime, uh, night mode and portrait mode, just for those two alone, this phone is definitely was the easy option. The fact that now without me having to go buy a DSLR camera or invest in a newer one that I'm on the go a lot or I'm just trying to really take a good pick of a piece of tech or just of myself or just people of family in general that I can able to do this with confidence and I'll be able to do this with my phone and be confident that these I will send out a post that actually people will like to look at and that I was something that I'm proud of and actually be able to have that professional touch to it without actually having to take a DSLR camera, take the picture, take it to the computer, take the SD card out you know do all the editing and stuff like that but now i have it on my phone i can actually do it in real time on the go post it make you look good 
you know, get the lights and all that good stuff. Just like everybody else is trying to do these days. You know how it is. And yeah, and just be confident that you have a solid phone that can pretty much do it all and do everything you need to do. Now, I know that again, the size is an issue for a lot of people, but I just want to reiterate that this phone is not for everyone. Just like the iPhone 12 mini is not for everyone or even the pro period, that phone is not for everyone. So if you're not into some like photo editing or video editing and you just want a regular phone, you shouldn't even be looking at the 12 Pro, save your money and just go get the other options that iPhone put out. Cause you won't be disappointed as far as quality cause they're all good. Now again, was that just like, just like with the Pro lineup and all the software, Apple Pro raw software and all that stuff that some maybe want and need or some just don't care about, this phone is not for everybody. And that's the same thing goes true as far as with the size of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This phone is not for everybody. I'm again, I'm saying one more time, this phone is not for everybody. So if you don't like the big phone, just get away from it, get another one. Or if you don't like iPhone period, just go to another brand. There's millions of them. Um, good, not good ones, but there's other brands. So, you know, you got Google, you got Samsung, you got OnePlus, you got, um, uh, yeah, you just got a lot of different options, but, if you, other, but iPhone's iPhone, and if you don't like the 12 Pro Max or that big screen, just get another one. So, all right, guys, I want to appreciate you guys for, again, taking out this video, and I hope you got some insight and some different, you know, that my, hope you, my opinion really res resonated with you and hoping in terms of helping you out with learning about the iPhone 12 Pro Max phone in general, but also to just get a deeper understanding of the phone itself and why it's not so bad as people is making it out the scene. So if you were one of those people out there who did get some value out of this video, I definitely would like for you to comment, definitely hit the like icon, and definitely subscribe if you love this video and you enjoyed the others on the channel as far as my other tech reviews, and that there will be more coming. So definitely, I definitely want you to be subscribed so you can be notified, and definitely hit the all notifications icon, the bell, so that way you be, be notified as soon as all the new ones like this one will be uh, will drop as far as my other ones as well. So again, this is Darren with Everyman Tech. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great, safe day. Bye.